first. I know I'm about to be a man, Dad, so I wanted to take this last chance to tell you how much I love you. <sighs> you might want to take this last chance to cry, too, because we're not going. See that? He's already practicing up for next season. I'll tell you what, Peggy, with this extra year under his belt, he's not only going to be a man, he's going to be a, uh, a superman. <laughs> How do you like that? Our son, a superman. <laughs> oh. You have no clue, do you? Would you look at him? He's at the age where little boy hormones get violent. They don't call them nice, quiet, well-behaved hormones. They're raging, Hank. He has a chemical need to kill. I was counting on you to channel that need away from humans. I'll be locking my bedroom door tonight. So please, be in by 10. Red Dog 1, this is Red Dog 3. Do you copy? Over. 10-4, Red Dog 3. Ah! Oh, damn, inferior Soviet surplus merchandise. Never does what it's supposed to. Or maybe it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Maybe it just bounced a signal off a satellite to an attack sub in the Gulf of Mexico whose mission is to read our brainwaves. That's my boy. I was about to say precisely the same thing. Except the sub's in Lake Superior. What are you doing, Bobby? Nothing. There's a spider in the kitchen. Would you like to come kill it? No, thanks. Okay, then. <sighs> Hank! Hank! Wake up! I just want to tell you that I'm learning more about how you destroyed Bobby's life. I searched through my old social studies files and look what I found! In a tribe in Papua New Guinea, a boy who misses out on a rite of passage, in their case, killing a missionary, remains a boy forever. He will never become a man. <sighs> this is a report by a seventh grader, and it only got a C. I have backup. Look at this fourth grade word find about the Huron Indians' rites of passage. Madness? When a little Huron Indian boy wants to achieve manhood, but he fails to kill an elk, he will get physically ill and then go stark raving mad. Well, I did see Bobby talking to the Mrs. Butterworth bottle, but I didn't think it was strange at the time. Hey, uh, Hank, could you give me a hand carrying this out to my SUV? Eustace, I've never seen you in here before. Finally decided to make the switch to propane, huh? You know, I think you'll find it's the perfect...